take a look at some more cheap effects pedals today to go with our ukuleles. So following on from the videos I did in the summer where I built a little effects pedal board or UFX, ukulele effects, um, I'm just going to take a little look today at some of the pedals that are already featured on that that I haven't looked at in detail and also the new one you've just heard in the intro. So the ones you've already heard, the Mosky Reverb and the Donna Delay. Now I haven't gone through the different settings of those so we'll take a quick look at those and then the new one which is another Donna pedal and the Donna Dynamic Wah or an Auto Wah pedal and we'll see whether this one makes it onto the UFX. Just before we start, um, setup for today slightly different from previous uh, videos. Um, I've got it's quite a basic setup. I've got one um, cable going from um, the pedal into my ukulele. The other pedal is coming out going into um, a Warwick uh, bass amp of all things, but it's got a nice sound in it. And there is a condenser mic setup in front of that. Um, and then it's no longer going into my Mac. It's actually going into a Tascam um, multi-track field recorder. So a slightly different way of recording it. Hopefully you won't notice any difference with the electrics, but you certainly might notice some difference with the general audio because I'm now using an overhead mic as well. So here we go. Reverb to start with. Uh, the Mosky uh, Spring Reverb pedal. As you can see, it's quite a basic looking unit. There are only two controls on it. Uh, one being mix and one being dwell. What does reverb do? Basically, it makes you sound like you're in a large building, like a church or a cave. Um, it doesn't do an echo or a delay as such. It just makes it sound as if you're in a very large area. So, first of all, Let's try no reverb at all. Okay, so that's just a straight signal. Let's try reverb. So everything at 12 o'clock, just for an idea. Hear the difference? A really good way of hearing reverb is to do a chuck or a chunk. So that is with the controls at 12 o'clock. Let's turn them both down a little bit for a moment. So we'll go down to about quarter two. All right, so it's still there a fraction after I stop the note, but nowhere near um, as long a sound. So that's the sound at quarter two. Let's put the dwell up to midday a minute. There we are. Let's see what happens now. Not so much difference on that one. Whereas if we turn them the other way round, so the mix goes up and the dwell goes back down. All right, it does carry on a bit longer. And then let's go quarter past with them both. Whenever I'm using reverb, less is generally more. Okay, I know singers love to turn the reverb up. All right, sometimes it can just sound you're trying, you know, you're playing in a gymnasium or somewhere. So quarter past. Ooh.
okay so that's the reverb um there are definite options out there that have got different types of reverb um but this is a nice cheap one to start with. It's on the UFX for now. Whether it'll be replaced, who knows? And don't forget, very often, amps actually have a reverb effect built into them. So next up is the Donna Echo Square Delay Pedal. Um, this is my most expensive pedal so far, um, about £30. Now, on my main pedal board where I've got my expensive pedals, I've got a lovely Delay Llama by Jam Pedals. It's an analog um, delay pedal. So I was really interested to hear what a digital delay and all sorts of other delays do. As you can see there, there are quite a lot of controls on uh, this unit. So let's dive in. First of all then, Yep, yeah, we've got um, the amp is on here as a clean signal. Okay. So, here we go. At the moment, you'll notice we're on, let's start with the digital, and everything is turned down quite low at the moment. All right, so you probably won't notice a huge difference. So... tiniest of delays and if you notice both the feedback and the mix are turned right down that has a huge impact you can just hear it kicking in a little bit now if I turn the mix up a little bit that's the actual um, delayed note you'll hear that hopefully now let's go up to midday there all right if we turn the feed back up that means you'll get more of the delayed notes playing so let's turn the feedback up to midday all right and we're still only on the first um delay at the minute which is let me just double check the digital delay Right, so suddenly now um, the mix is a lot higher so you're hearing it more and there's more of the feedback and then the actual time is the length before the delayed note appears so let's turn that up to midday and see what happens Okay. Right, let's try uh, the analog this time. Now, I am no expert on effects pedals. I've messed about with them for years and years. As far as I'm aware, with an analog, the delayed note sort of peters out further. All right. So, we're on analog. Let's go just midday for a minute. See what happens there. have to be a bit careful when you're using delay it's great um, in big rock bands when you've got maybe one or two delayed notes but it can easily build up on top of itself uh, let's quickly run through the others then so uh, we have got um, tape delay see what this one's like said hours and hours of fun um cracking on 
Okay, so mod delay this time. Now the delay itself there is the same, but it's added a little bit of modulation, a bit like a chorus effect. Honestly, I could waste hours playing with these. Um, right, next up is the sweep. For now, I'm just leaving them all at 12 o'clock just to have an idea of what the pedal can do. That is the sweep delay. Then we've got now low fi. This one's a bit funky. Something like this, you can have brilliant fun with a looper as well, playing with the delays. And then the last one sort of says what it is on the tin. It's a reverse delay, so it sort of, it takes the delay the other way. All right. So that's the Donna delay pedal. So the last pedal today, the other Donna pedal, it is the dynamic wah. Now a wah pedal is normally, um, you actually play it manually up and down with your foot as you're playing. Um, in this case, it's an auto wah. So once you switch it on, it does that automatically for you. Um, it's, how do you describe it? I, I'm no expert at all um, on all the physics of sound and everything, but imagine you've got waves. In this case, it's more of a filter, like an envelope, okay? Going up and down like that. So, everything is at 12 o'clock at the minute. Sends, res, decay. Now, decay is the length of time the note plays for. Uh, res is the sharpness um, of the filter. And then the sends is the um, sensitivity of it, I think. Hang on, I better double check. Sends are the filter intensity, all right, or sensitivity. So, um, no signal to start with. Okay, um, I'm using these chords because wah pedals are very often associated with funk, all right, but just to... So, with the wah switched on. Or. Go back to the funk that I played a minute ago. Okay, let's have a little mess about with the controls. So, first of all, let's turn the actual overall frequency down to quarter two. We'll turn the sensitivity down. We'll turn those two up a little bit and see what happens. Ultimately, it's only by messing about and playing with different pedals you get to find the sounds that you like, the sounds that are not so useful. Um, and as I've shown in previous videos, especially with nylon string ukuleles, they often don't sound the same as steel stringed guitars. Okay, so with um, the controls as they are.
Okay. Uh, let's go up with the frequency. We go up with the uh, sensitivity. And we go down with these two. Okay. This is still very new, so I'm still um, finding my way around these controls as well. So with the new settings. Um, let's go wild. Let's turn everything up and just see what happens. The good thing with something like this, it's not like a distortion pedal where you can seriously get a lot of feedback and distortion obviously I gotta say I am quite liking this sort of really understand now why it is used so much in funk music as well and bearing in mind that is just the wah pedal at the minute it's not attached to anything else so there's a few more pedals there um i've got to say for the price of them you know they're really cheap and cheerful but they're really great fun to play around with and a fantastic way to start to get into your pedals um i love the donna um echo square delay that one will be going straight back on the pedal board and stay in there for now um but you can't go too wild with it the mosky reverb it's a simple reverb it doesn't do anything spectacular to it um again for now it's the only reverb pedal i'll be putting on there because it's the only mini one i've got um but it may be one that i might look to swap out later basic but does the job and this little booty this auto wah um i love this i've got to admit this one i think is going to end up on the pedal board i've just got to go away and have a little think now as to what's going to come off for this to replace it so there we are three more very cheap effects pedals um demoed with our ukuleles remember as well though different ukes, electroacoustic, solid body, steel string, even different electroacoustics um, sound different with different pedals. So I do hope uh, this video has entertained you and possibly helped you, especially if you're looking to get into um, effects with your ukuleles. Um, as always, please, if you've got a comment or a question, feel free to drop it below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.